What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. When it comes to Pepe coin, a lot of people will either be on one side or the other, right? For it or against it. And there are various people as to why they would be against it, various reasons as to why they would be against it. And a lot of it flows around like the pump is just way too fast. It's something that's not sustainable. It doesn't have a utility and all these other things that are associated with them not buying into it. Now, I was the same way and, you know, still feel a little bit uh, the same way about something uh, that's moving a little bit too fast in some of those areas. Um, when it comes to utility, I'm not on the same page because everybody knows where I stand on utility. I will explain that within this video. Um, but I get to be a little bit skeptical at times. And when I'm a little bit skeptical, I don't go all in. I invest a little bit into it to see what it could be average down as I do see better prices. There are ways to make money with a position even though it has already hit a very, very high point. So I've gotten some comments over my live stream and over some videos where they're like, look, Pepe is dead, leave it alone. We have so many other positions now that you can invest into um, meme coins and, and everything, right? And honestly, I, I don't always think or I don't ever think that a position is really dead. A cryptocurrency can never be dead, first of all. Um, there will always be some form of, um, investments that are going into it, people that believe into it. You can think that it has no use case and you're like, this is over. But it, honestly, cryptocurrency is not about use cases right now. Eventually, it will be establishing use cases, yes. Actually having a use case, no, because we've seen so many projects that don't have that. But I want to talk to you guys about Pepe, where it is right now, um, why it actually looks pretty decent at these moments uh, or at these places. And uh, get into some more information there. So guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, feel free to go ahead and follow me there. Also, if you guys want to get Pepe, um, there's I have an exchange down below that does, um, you can buy Pepe for cheaper without paying the extreme gas fees, even though gas fees have gone down. Um, you can buy it on KuCoin, which I do have a link for down in the description. Uh, Coinbase hasn't listed it yet, but I do have a link for Coinbase as well as uh, Crypto.com <clears throat> and um, Weeble as well. So let's talk about Pepe a little bit. Let's see what's happening here today. You would firmly expect um, this to be down another 10 or 20% with how much it grew. It grew very, very fast in a short period of time. In a matter of weeks, we saw this at a 1.8%. A 1.6 to 1.8 uh, billion dollar market cap. Um, you, know, you saw this at a way higher price, and currently today it's down by 2.3 percent. It's been hovering around this 0.000019 19 level, 19 to 20 level, but we are seeing this down 2.3 percent today. Um, it is at a 764 million dollar market cap, and. Uh, uh, if you're looking at the volume, you're seeing $506 million. So it's a significant difference from where it was yesterday at a billion dollar uh, volume day, or you know, uh, definitely a difference from where it was at its peak point, seeing about $3 billion that were flowing through this position, which was basically a, a nobody, uh, nobody's land to be in this uh, coin for uh, you know, you know, any type of gain, right? You saw a lot of other options out there and now you're seeing this as kind of that main option where everybody's flocking to it um, and they're trying to find the best price point um, the reason why i'm getting asked about whether it is dead whether it's a good buying opportunity right now is because people are looking for that best buying opportunity looking for it to um, get to a level where they can find it at a low so that they can uh, you know get the benefits of it going higher um, and that's during a bull run but every single cryptocurrency has had um, a, a time period like this, where it has grown a significant amount, has decreased, created lower highs, lower lows until it gets to a certain point, and then you see the more bullish momentum that goes into it. So um, to give you some details, uh, some more details into it so that you understand um, a full context here, uh, if we go into the contract, you're going to see that you have 108,000 holders. It hasn't really grown significantly in the amount of holders in the past few days or so, but you are seeing it at 100,000 plus holders, which is definitely a, a point that we can say, you know, this is pretty successful, right? There's a lot of coins that are out there that don't have 100,000 holders. Um, there's a ton of coins that are out there or tokens that are out there that do, and you see the success that they do end up having. Um, 
but in a downward market or a a bearish market, you're not really seeing that uh, positive movement there. Um, But as we look into this and we look at the full breakdown of the chart, um, basically taking a 10,000 foot view of this and going, is this a time to invest? Is it a dead project? It doesn't look like a dead project. Right now, it looks like it's in more of a consolidation zone. While we're in this level of 600 million to $800 million market cap, it looks like that's where it's really hovering um, as of now. Now we could see this continue to decrease because it doesn't look like it has a ton of strength within this level. You've seen this level, right? 600 to really $800 million market cap here, but it doesn't look like it has a ton of strength. Right now, you're seeing a ton of consolidation, which creates strength for people that may be buying at these levels, that are excited at these levels, but you can also see sell-offs at these levels um, because previous to this, you did not see that strength. We may have established it now, but it's not 100% confirmed that we have established it. So here looks like the strongest point, so you could see it come back a little bit more, but that doesn't mean that it absolutely will. Um, If the market becomes more bullish, then expect this to be the firm uh, consolidation point that it does hit before we see this absolutely run. Consolidation a lot of times leads to bullish momentum. So that's why I'm thinking that it could be something, you know, positive that's there. So I don't think that it's dead. And another reason why I don't think that it's dead, you look at any like popular position, you look at Shiba Inu, you look at, um, you know, Dogecoin, you look at Terra Luna Classic and how many millions of wallets they have, how many millions of wallets that you have over on, you know, Shiba Inu, and the community is what leads this into a better situation. Now, now we're starting to talk about other things that could factor into use cases, decreasing the supply, burn mechanisms, all that type of stuff that could create a benefit for this. So as we're looking into that, it's not only giving people the vision of just making money short term, but also long term. Um, the only thing that I, uh, do look at here that has been sort of decreasing that people want to see more in is the volume, right? You're seeing $500 million in volume versus the 1 billion, but still $500 million in a place to where Shiba Inu is getting 200 million or, you know, Dogecoin is getting, you know, a hundred, 200, 300 million or whatever. You're looking at those levels of volume through Pepe. So no, it's not dead. It hasn't, it hasn't completely fallen off the face of the earth. Um, these will be times where people are looking for lower prices to uh, average down. Maybe they bought in too high. Maybe they found a level where they bought in a small amount too high. And now they want to average down with more money or um, they just want to average down in general. There's people out there that are that are making that move. Now I'm getting comments and questions asking me, you know, if it was wise for them to you know, spend $50,000 on Pepe, which I don't believe they did. I think it was just more of a test to say whether I think it's wise to spend $50,000 on Pepe at these levels. And for any level, I don't think that's a wise decision. You should always try and manage your risk in every situation. um, And that's not managing your risk well. But then you also have those same comments or those same questions asking me if Pepe is a dead project. And it's not, it's not dead. Uh, I can tell you that right from the beginning of the video that it's not a dead project. Um, There are various people that are trying to figure out a way to decrease the supply, to make some sort of utility. Right now, the owners and uh, creators are anonymous, um, but you do have a connection with the, the creator through the Twitter account because his Twitter account was created before the coin actually launched. Um, You just don't have the people behind it. I'm sure the person behind it is like, look, I'm, my net worth is insane right now and releasing who I am um, would not be wise for the overall project because it is just a meme coin right now. It's, it's nothing more than that, but it does have the popularity and is being able to gain the popularity. So that's what I would say. Anyways, guys, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this. Do you believe that Pepe is dead already? I mean, 500 million to me is not dead. Uh, even 100 million is not dead. Even millions of dollars is not dead. Now, will it not be as popular as it was before? That could be a, a chance to, to be true. Um, but honestly, I think the more holders you gather, the more popular you are. It's just whether you're seeing more volume at that moment or not. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Again, if you want to get Pepe, um, there is a link to KuCoin down below so you can get it yourself. Um, but uh, I'm going to get out of here and I will catch you guys in the next one.